Um, so variation in fuel costs, right? Um, those those variations were generally passed allowed to be passed on directly to the consumers. Okay, so if the price of all the fuel the utility had to buy doubled, then uh, the 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 generation portion of your electricity bill would double. Right, so so the utilities were generally allowed to do that. Um, most regulators, most state regulators, broke up the utilities' costs into um, into into investments, right? So in capital investments in wires and and substations and power plants and things like that, and operational costs, which were things like labor costs and fuel. And the 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 basically the deal that the utilities had with the Public Utility Commission was that um, they could pass through all of their operational costs to consumers. Okay, so so fuel prices increased, electricity prices would go up. Okay, but they weren't allowed to earn any profit on fuel. Okay, they were allowed to earn profit on stuff that they had built. Okay, this was called the rate base. So um, every time the utility built a new power plant or built a new transmission line, then it would get to earn a profit off of that investment. Okay, and so um, so anyway, so this this this. Uh, regulation created a very stable climate for a long time, but you can sort of see um, where we might start to have some problems, right? One, if uh, the utility's profits went up every time it's built something, right, then um, the, the, the utility sort of got in this, in this mindset where their business model was building stuff, right? Second, um, you know, uh, when you're spending other people's money, then you're maybe not necessarily as careful with it as you might be otherwise. Okay. Um, and so, um, it, but you know, for, for uh, these, these sort of what, what economists call incentive problems existed for a long time, um, but they really didn't manifest themselves until the 1970s, when we basically had two things happen at the same time. One, um, we had a we, we had the, the sort of energy crises of the 1970s, and fuel prices increased dramatically. At the time, 20% of U.S. electricity was generated with oil, right? And so, when oil prices went up dramatically, that impacted the cost of generating electricity. Um, the second thing that happened was, for uh, for for environmental and other reasons, um, um, the 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 utilities. So, well, uh, uh, utilities in many states kind of halfway were forced and halfway decided uh, to, to, to make large investments in nuclear power plants. And uh, as it turned out, um, the utilities did, did not know how to build or operate nuclear power plants terribly well. Right? And so there were all sorts of delays and cost overruns and cost escalations with uh, nuclear power plants. And you know, because of this deal that the utilities had with their regulators, um, all of, I mean, all or most of those costs ultimately had to be paid by utilities' customers.